I'm Amanda and welcome to another one of my quilt block tutorials. In today's video I will be showing you how to make a very cute, very little sailboat block. This particular block is very sentimental to me as it is the block that I used to make a quilt for my nephew for his second birthday, or my first nephew. I don't actually have the quilt with me because it is now his, but if I can find it, um, I'll insert a picture for you here. I came across the pattern for this block just the other day and I thought, oh my gosh, that would be awesome to make. I've forgotten just how cute and sweet it is, so hopefully you have fun making it and creating it into a block that you love. So let's get into making it. Here is step one. Begin by cutting each of the pieces that make up the block. All of the measurements and cutting instructions can be found in the description box below. To make the four half square triangles for the sails, mark a line in the center of the two white 3 and 3 8 inch squares using a lead pencil and ruler. Pair these with the 3 and 3 8 inch printed squares, placing a pin in the center of each of them. At the sewing machine, place the machine foot to the left of the pencil line and sew a quarter inch seam. Chain stitch the next pair through, taking the pins out as you go. Once you've come to the end, remove the units from the machine and turn them around. Sew a quarter inch seam along the other side of the pencil line. Snip the joining threads, then place a ruler along the pencil line and cut both units in half. Using an iron, or in this case, a clover seam presser, press each of the seams to the darker side of fabric. And then carefully snip off the dog ears from the corners. Lay out the half square triangles with the printed triangles placed to the left. Flip one unit on top of the other, square it up and pin it in place. Do the same with the other two units. Next, sew a quarter inch seam along the pinned edges. Snip the joining thread and open up each of the units. Flip one over and press the seam down. Flip the other unit over and press the seam down in the opposite direction to the last. Next, place one unit on top of the other, nest the centre seams and pin in place. Place two other pins along this edge before taking it to the sewing machine. Sew a quarter inch seam, taking it slowly along the middle seam as it will be bulky. Take the pins out as you go. Open the half square triangle unit and press the middle seam flat. Place the two 2 by 5.5 inch white rectangles on either side of the half square triangle unit. Flip them over and pin them in place. Sew a quarter inch seam along one side, then turn the block around and sew down the opposite edge, taking the pins out as you go. Open up the sides and press the seams flat. Place this half of the block to one side. To create the boat, mark a line in the centre of the two 2.5 inch white squares with a pencil and ruler. Take the 2.5 by 8.5 printed rectangle and place the white squares onto either end, ensuring the pencil lines are running inwards from the top two corners. Pin them in place. Slowly sew on top of the pencil lines, taking the pins out as you go. Cut a quarter inch seam by placing the quarter inch seam line on your ruler on top of the stitched line. Spin it around and do the same to the other end. Open out the corner triangles and press down the seams. Then place the 1.5 by 8.5 rectangle along the bottom of this unit. Flip and pin it in place. Sew a quarter inch seam along this edge. Then open it out and give it a good press. Bring together the top and bottom parts of the block. Flip the bottom piece over, square it up and pin it in place. Sew a quarter inch seam, ensuring the seams along the bottom are flat before sewing over them. Remove the pins as you go. For the final press, use a hot steamy iron to set everything in place.
Then to finish, square the block off so that it measures approximately 8.5 inches or 20 centimeters squared. So there we have it, that is how you make this very sweet sailboat block. If you are going to give it a go, show me all the links to where you can find me is down below. Take a picture and send it to me, I would absolutely love to see it. If you enjoyed this tutorial and would like to see more of the things that I do here on my channel, click subscribe and you will see them. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you another time very very soon. Bye! is very sentimental uh, sentimental uh, is that is uh, I can't say it it is how you make this very sweet sail block sail block I ruined it so there you have it that is how you make this very sweet sail block sail oh I keep saying sail block it's not a sail block it's a sail boat I lost it. Click that subscribe. Oh, I had it. Oh.